Hey, hey, Tiger, relax. We still have to talk about this. Talking is not the fun part. Come on, it takes two to tango. Yeah, Let's go. Well, it also takes two to have this conversation. Now calm down and tell me where this came from. A baby, Harley. A child of our own, you know, little feet running around. Come on, can you picture that? It would be great. Now, this place is too small, of course. We're gonna have to move out and find one that's bigger, and you're not, you're not gonna be able to work. I mean, if you wanna work for a little while, that's okay, because now I have money and I can, I can pay for the nanny. Harley, don't you see how incredible this could be for both of us? Look, I promise, I will be the best father that I can. I'll help out with, with changing the baby and, and feeding her. Stop it, stop it. Why are you doing this? I'm not ready for this, Alan Michael. I can't handle this. So in other words, Daisy's it? She's the only baby you plan to have? I took so long to get her <laughs> Me neither. I mean, that story you told her nearly bored me to death. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> but then the lullaby that I told her was great. Works every time. The lullaby? Mm -hmm. I don't know that detour there's a muddy road ahead really qualifies as a lullaby. Oh, yeah? Well, how about you want your freedom PDQ mm -hmm. divorce me, COD? <laughs> You know what time it is. No, I have no idea. It's adult time. Go, 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 go! Hey, 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 hey! What the hell is that? Hey, 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 hey. Was that? Hey, you don't have to break the door down, pal. Couldn't leave it alone, could you? It was you. You ratted on me, didn't you? Damn you, lady! I think there's another explanation. You still want me. Why don't you just get the hell out of here? Word to the wise. Don't you go to Ed with this thing about Sonny. Don't you do it. It would be a mistake, so just don't do it. Or what? I'm not afraid of you anymore, Roger. So sorry. Are you all right? Uh, Jill. Yeah. How awful. Look at her. Poor Holly. Given the wicked right hand she just belted him with, poor Holly, that doesn't fit the lady I'm looking at. I'd say she handled that very well. Mm. So much for the floor show. I think I'll just call it a draw and go home. All right, come on, I'll take it. Uh, Ross, I think you need to stay here at WSPR. You know, Johnny. Can make sure Holly gets home safely. Oh, it's all right. I don't want to spoil anything. Oh. I'll, I'll Never get argue myself. with a lady that's just been engaged. Okay. okay? I'm not going to be wrong. Are you sure you're all right? I'm fine. I'll talk to you tomorrow, okay? Okay, okay. okay. Mm. Unbelievable. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Oh, Rick. Oh, Chelsea. I'm glad you're I... here. About time you missed our toasting of our engagement. Oh, Chelsea, I'm sorry. Um, Where's uh, Johnny? He left to take Holly home, but uh, he should be back in a minute. Okay. You look upset. What's wrong? What's wrong? Uh, nothing's wrong. I, I just, I'm, t I'm tired, I guess. Uh, he is coming back, right? <laughs> you bet I'll be the shortest engagement in history. What is it? Come on, whatever you have to tell Johnny, you can tell me. After all, I am going to marry the man. Hey, 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 back off. I open my guts up to you. I tell you every, everything about myself, stuff I never told anybody, ever. Damn, why did I believe that bleeding heart hey, stuff hey, you fed no, me about nothing? Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. You watch it, kid, or I will punch you in the mouth myself. Oh, yeah, you and who's on? Hey, excuse me. My daughter is sleeping upstairs. This is my house, and I told you one time I don't want you, you talking to my wife me? like that. You better bring your lunch, boy. Who the hell do you think you, you are, man? This is my house. Get Dylan back off. Now, what is going on? In on what? Like you don't know. I ain't buying it, lady. You ratted on me. You're a backstabber. Why'd you do it, lady? Why? Oh, what? What do you think I did? 
I don't think anything. I know. You told the LeMays that I'm Daisy's father. Wait, wait, wait. I didn't. Just for the record, I am not a backstabber, and I did not, and I would not, and have not done anything to hurt you. The only thing I did do was tell you to stay away from Daisy so it wouldn't end up breaking your heart. Now, the child has been adopted, and there is nothing you can do about it. It is over. It's over. You swear you didn't tell on me? I swear I didn't tell on you. Well, somebody damn sure did. What am I gonna do about that, huh? Hey, we don't know. But would you mind doing it somewhere else, please? The door is right here. Ah! Thank you. Roger. Me too. <laughs> and so, Dr. Carrero, I guess it's safe to assume he's not here. No, he's... Oh, did something happen? Oh, no, 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 nothing's happened. It's just routine police business. Oh, oh, no, I expect him before long. Apparently, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just the verifying times and facts uh, with everyone involved in mm -hmm. the uh, Phillips Balding case. Oh, including me? What? Yes, as a matter of fact, you're next on my list. Oh, and, really? uh, <laughs> and here you are. Oh, oh, oh come on in. Yeah. Oh, well, thank yeah, you. Please. Thank you. Um, can I get you anything to drink? Some coffee or no, tea? No, no, thank you. I'm, I'm fine. All right. Um, <laughs> shoot. Bang. A little police humor. Oh, I see. <laughs> okay, uh, Dr. Carrera, let's see. Oh, yeah, here you are. All right, uh, how did you happen to be at uh, Daly's Loft? I went with uh, Roger's daughter, Blake. Blake Spaulding. Yeah, Philip Spaulding's wife, mm -hmm. yes, I know that. Uh, but uh, what were you doing there? I was, I was worried about Roger and Philip, and so was she. Oh, it seemed like a good idea at the time. Oh, I see. Now, uh, Dr. Carrera, what did you see when you got there? What was the sequence of events? Well, it was extremely chaotic, as you can imagine. Mm -hmm. uh, the first shock I had was seeing Bradley Raines running out of the studio. You're sure it was him? Well, Blake identified him, and she spoke to him. He didn't stop. He, mm -hmm. he kept running. Go on. Um... Well, the next thing I remember is almost getting trampled by Roger and Rusty Shane. They were apparently chasing Bruce Daly. Then I, after that, I saw Philip. No, wait, wait, and... just, just back that up for a second. Would you, uh, you say you saw Roger Thorpe and Rusty chasing Daly? Now, uh, when was the next time that you saw Roger after that? Hmm, later that evening. But uh, exactly when later that evening? Oh, you know, that's, that's Roger now. <laughs> Roger, hi. Uh, Detective Tag was just answering a few questions. Oh, uh, just some follow-up on the case. Dr. Carrera was kind enough to let me in. You don't mind, do you? No, no, of course. Not at all. Please sit down. Thank you. How can I help? Well, uh, mostly I'm just trying to fill in some facts about the case, you know, fill in some spaces. I've, I've tracked everybody's whereabouts up to the time of the police station, you, Rusty Daly, but uh, I, I was wondering, where did you go after you left the police station? Sonny's. It's funny, I was just about to ask her this question. And, uh, and, and what time was that? I guess about 10 o'clock. <laughs> 10 o'clock. Is that your recollection? Um... Yeah, it was about that time. I, I, I wasn't looking at the clock. Well, of course, I understand. <laughs> Uh, it's just close enough for corroboration anyway. Well, look, I think that's just about it. I uh, <clears throat> may have some more questions for you later if we still have some trouble. Uh, trouble? I thought this was all over. Well, not quite. Uh, we do have Daly in custody, and I expect he'll tell us everything we need to know eventually. But we haven't recovered Philip Spaulding's million dollars. It's uh, disappeared. Obviously, Bradley Raines has it, right? Well, why is that? Well, he was working with Bruce Daly, and he's the only one who had 
intimate details about Beth, and he knew the Philip of Annie and Mount to, to see her again. Not to mention the fact that, that he was in the same jail as Alan Spaulding. I admit that's the most plausible theory, but until we find Bradley Raines and recover the million dollars, we have to check all the possibilities. Mm -hmm. uh, just for the record, Mr. Thorpe, uh, where were you before the ransom drop? Surely I'm not one of your suspects, Tig. Well, that depends on your answers, I guess, huh? I was with Rusty Shane, and he'll confirm that. As a matter of fact, he already has. Oh, uh... Lillian Raines said that Bradley just tried to contact her, so I imagine we'll be picking him up fairly soon. Well, thanks for your cooperation. My pleasure. Good Thank night. Thank you, Detective. Good night. Something on your mind? <laughs> As a matter of fact, yes, there is something on my mind. You're telling Tay that you came to my house at, what, 10 o'clock? I think it was closer to 11. Was it? I don't remember exactly. I guess I'm still replaying the run-in I just had with Holly at the station. How'd it go? Didn't go well. Things are always difficult with Holly, so it shouldn't be that much of a surprise to me. I'm just sorry you got caught in the crossfire. If you want my advice, and you may not, um... Yes, I, Doctor. <laughs> I think you should stop thinking about Holly and worrying about Holly. There's nothing that you're going to do that's going to keep her away from Blake or keep her out of this town, especially now that she's the owner of WSPR. Maybe yes, maybe no. What does that mean? <laughs> I guess it means that uh, everybody's got their price. I see, I see. And if Holly's price is a million dollars, what do you do? Pay her off? Alan Michael, please. Please look at me. Honey, try to understand. I didn't plan on having Daisy. That just happened. But she's here now, and even though I don't have her, she's still a very important part of my life. Yeah, well, she's too important, if you ask me. And if it wasn't for Dylan, You're this right. wouldn't happen. You're right. If it wasn't for Dylan, I would never have had Daisy. And I wouldn't even know her now. But that doesn't mean that I don't want to have children with you. It just means I want to wait a while. What about me? What about what I want? I don't want to wait. Well, there are two of us here. This is not just about what you want. Harley, I understand how much you love Daisy. I think that's great. But couldn't you love a baby that you and I had together as much? Absolutely, of course. Just not now. Why not? I mean, why not now? What's the reason? There is none except Daisy. Honey, don't you see? The only reason that you want me to have a baby is because of Daisy. Daisy, you... Daisy, you know something? I'm really sick of hearing about Daisy. Hi. Hi. You busy? No. Is it right if I came here? Yeah, come on in. Where's your uncle? He's still at the party. I'm glad you're here. Well, you're the first one. Tonight. Oh, God, what a mess. Apropos that mess, I... About that mess, thank you for covering for me with the police. I think I was in over my head. Uh -huh. No sweat. I was in way over my head. I just can't figure out who would have told the cops about me. I mean, I thought for sure it was Reva, but she... If she's telling the truth... Who else do you think it could be? Me? Dylan, I don't know. But I hate to see you this upset. Well, I just gotta figure it out before my head explodes. What about Billy? No, you're right. No. He's been damn good to me. Man, I would have bet it was Reva. 
But she just swore it wasn't. I'm sure you can take her word. But if you do, why are you still so obsessed, worried about this? <sighs> Damn if I know. I just, I just get this feeling like there's something going on with her and me. I just wish I knew what. Nerve of that kid storming in here like he owned the place. Well, Reva, obviously you felt he had some problem he had to settle with you. What bothers me, though, is how you're dealing with it. You mean him. like wishing I'd never laid eyes on him in the first I, place? Well, thank goodness Mara slept through that whole ruckus. Well, you know, that's good, Mama. But you know what's funny? The subject here was Dylan, and every time we talk about him, you change the subject. Why is that? What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about, and you've known it all along. What? I don't know what you about mean. About Daisy what? being Dylan's baby. Now, don't deny it. Oh, Reva, I never could keep anything from you. Well, yes, uh, I'm not blind. I figured it out. Well, Dylan and Samantha had me go over to the LeMays the other night when the baby had hiccups. Why didn't you ever tell me about this? What on earth got into well, you, Mama? Well, look, I don't automatically tell you everything I do, girl. I'm, I'm going to go out and get some fresh air. What the hell is going on? What is wrong with her? two of Guiding Light in a moment. Well, there's nothing seriously wrong. Lots of women get over emotional when they're pregnant, and Reva's no different. Yeah, but she was so happy when she learned about her pregnancy with Mara, you know? She was at peace with herself. Uh, well, each one is different. Now, take it from a woman who knows. Why does she get so angry at Dylan? Well, he... Barge dried right in here. But I don't even, I don't know why she's even dealing with him in the first place. I just, I don't understand. And why is she knocking at the door? Huh? Hello. I thought you were Reba. Boy, if you don't know the difference, you're in big trouble. Hello there, Hart. Yeah, things are a little slow over at Company. Thought I'd get on over here a little early. Oh, good. It's our couples night. We're playing hearts with other couples at the yeah. church. Yeah. But there's going to be lots of gambling going on there. Look, look, um, can you hang out for a couple more minutes? I'm going to run upstairs and get a sweater for Reva and try and find her outside. All right, I'll just be a couple minutes, all right? Bless you for being here. I don't know how much longer I can keep this secret about Dylan. Well, I thought I had problems with my ex-husband till I saw what Holly has to go through with hers. Okay, I'll bite. What's happened with good old Billy now? Do you care? I asked you, didn't I? What is it? He wants me back. What? Oh. Is that all I'm gonna get? Just, what? Oh. What do you want me to do, talk you out of it? Sure, why not? I mean, would you? If I wanted you to? If I were so inclined, why wouldn't I? Holly. <laughs> Holly, the Iron Maiden? My interest in Holly is strictly business. Uh -huh. Was that strictly business, the way you leapt to her defense? Why are you interested in this all of a sudden? It's not all of a sudden. I've been thinking about you and... I miss you. Um, I'd like to start over. Oh, now there's an interesting choice of words. As I recall, the last time we started over, you zipped off to Venezuela because Billy needed you, and this looks like an instant reply. He did need me. You know he did, and you said you understood. And this is different. Well, good. I've told him that he has to take care of things on his own. Good. I see. I see. And now I have to go someplace. Where are you going? Are you going to Holly's? No, I'm not. I understand what you're trying to say about Billy. But you hurt me, Vanessa. And it's going to take a while before I believe you again. So, hey, you guys. How you doing? <laughs> Hey, Hamp, how you doing? I'm all right. Something on your mind, Hamp? Yeah, yeah. Actually, I wanted to talk to William. 
house. Yeah. Um, look, I hear you used to work at the Blue Orchid, right? True, yeah, for a few years. Why? Um, I realize you just got this job here with Holly as her assistant, but I got a proposition for you. I hear you attend a mean bar, and I need a bartender, so how would you like to come and work for me at the Heartbreaker? The money's great, man. Rick, come on. I, I wouldn't ask you, but I'm, I can tell something's wrong. Chelsea. I can't tell you, all right? It, it, it's Johnny's right to privacy. I can't go against my ethics. I, I just can't. Rick, you're, you're scaring me. Come on, if it's, if it's that bad of news, well, well tell me so Chelsea, we can figure out a way to tell him. It. I can't tell you. All right, well, well, tell me what it isn't then. I mean, come on, after everything Johnny's been through with cancer. No, oh, God, Johnny, Ch Chelsea, it's, it's not, it's not that, cancer. It? It's not cancer. I give you my word, okay? Well, then what? Look at Debs. Johnny's infertile. We can't have children. It still shocks me that Roger can get to me the way he does. <laughs> it's amazing. You know, his apartment is right down there. I can see it from here. Wouldn't you know he'd move in my neighborhood? Oh, I'm sorry. No, don't be. Talk it out. It's okay. Boy, he dealt me some hand tonight. Humiliating me in front of everybody I work with and care about. You don't give yourself enough credit. You handled him beautifully. You're such a nice guy. You're wrong, but you're such a nice guy. <laughs> oh, well, what the hell? At least I have the station. A lot of people would like to be in my shoes. Yeah, if you were wearing any. There's that. <laughs> Who am I kidding? You know, it's no fun to work till midnight every night and come back to... And don't tell me I should get a dog. I don't like dogs. How about cats? Mm. Just kidding. <laughs> but seriously, why don't you find yourself a house? Better yet, why don't I find myself a man? Well, I thought you and Ed were... Yeah, so did I for about a minute, but it just wasn't right. And Roger knew that, too. Who then? Ross? He was certainly there for you tonight. Yes, he was. No, but I... He's my business partner. Uh -huh. I've learned a long time ago not to mix business with romance. Tough lady. Hmm. Who's left? Well, there is Mr. Bright. Of course, I've never <laughs> met him yet. What do you think? Who, who would you choose? What would he be like? What? My idea of who he should be? You mm -hmm. serious? Mm -hmm. Serious. Curious. Oh, listen, I don't think I'm qualified for that. Oh, no, I disagree. I think you're most qualified for that, and I'd love to hear your opinion. Okay. Well, he can be safely unavailable like Ed and Ross. Well, listen, you could fool around with them, but they're already taken, aren't they? Yeah. So go on. He should be smart, so he won't bulldoze right over him. Mm. On your side without arm wrestling for control. Passionate, in bed and out. And he should like women as much as he likes himself. Oh, right. Where is he? Introduce ah, me. Ah, sorry. I, 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 I just make him up. I don't produce him. <laughs> but he is the kind of guy that you need and deserve, Holly. Thank you. What are friends for? Listen, <laughs> I better get going. We've got an early day tomorrow, boss. Oh, my God, I forgot. Chicago. Earth to Holly, bright and I, early. What did I do with the plane? Oh, thing? forget it. I canceled our reservations. What? Why? I'm at your service. What do you mean? Remember your research before you hired me? I'm a hell of a pilot. I'm flying us to Chicago. Oh, okay. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm gonna be okay. Good. Thank you. And thank Chelsea. killing me inside it's I know I'm never gonna have any kind of future with Daisy my baby you know I know it's terrible but what can you do I don't know something 
nothing. I mean, they wouldn't even let me say goodbye to her. Damn! There's got to be something I can do. I'm not going to wait around for that stupid injection thing. I'm going to see her. That's what I'm going to Dylan, you can't do that. It's against the law. And remember your parole? If you break that injunction, they can put you in jail and keep you there. Oh, God. What am I going to do? Oh, Dylan, it'll work out. We'll find a way. Oh, Harley. What am I going to tell her? Listen, I'm going to get over there. I got to tell her what's going on. Oh, wait a second. Alan Michael. Alan, Alan Michael, Michael what? That bloodthirsty pig, man. I'm gonna oh, kill him! Dylan, don't! Harley, come here. I'm sorry about what I said about Daisy. I, I was wrong. It wasn't the greatest thing to I, say. I know that, I know that, but there are times when I feel like you've left me for her somehow. Oh, Michael, that's crazy. I know it is, but it's true. Think about it. Ever since this thing with Dylan, and Daisy, it... I feel... I have this feeling in the pit of my stomach, all right? And it hurts. All I want is something that you and I can share together. Well, what about our marriage? Isn't that something we share? Yes, that's something, but I'm, I'm talking about something more. You know, a, a child that you and I can care for that's ours. It's an extension of our love. Isn't, isn't that what you want also? Yes, of course. I just don't think now's the right time. Oh, yes, it is the right time to think about it. A little baby that we that we can take care of and and play with, you know, and <laughs> splash in the tub with. I mean, that's what it's all about. Somebody who can smear jam on your face in the morning. <laughs> yeah, and then and the first words that the baby will say are no more baklava, please. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. Now, now, Roger, before I start drowning in your charm again, mm -hmm. I have a question. Can I trust you? I promise I'll respect you in the morning. Okay, now there you go again. You're not taking me seriously, and I'm being serious. I have some questions that need to be answered here. Okay. What kind of questions? Like, who are you? Who is the real Roger Thorpe? You like games, don't you? A mask. And as I recall, a mask, you wore a mask at one time in your life, right? Yes, I wore it to hide in a very difficult time, another life. Mm -hmm. But you would say that a mask holds a certain amount of power for you. I'd say that it did at one time, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I say it still does. I say it holds the power of truth. Oh, let's call it a truth mask, shall we? I say it has the power to make you tell the truth. Is any of this about money? Just a wild guess. Well, why don't we just see what happens? Mm. <laughs> Roger, mm -hmm. did you take Philip's money? Mm -mm. I'm serious. Did you take Philip's money? No. Oh, now stop it! Roger, I want you to understand that I don't care what the real answer is. I, I don't care. I just want you to be honest with me and tell me the truth. Did you? Saved by the bell. You are lucky. I know it's late, but what I have to say won't take very long. Well, in that case, come on in. Sonny, I'm sorry I didn't know that you were here. Is there some place we could talk privately? This is it. We have no secrets. In fact, we were just discussing that. I'll keep it brief, then. Well, a rare quality in a lawyer. I'm giving you notice concerning Holly. That little exhibition you put on at the TV station was inexcusable, especially in front of all those people. Yeah, I know. I lost my head. It happens around Holly. Exactly my point. So don't do it again, or I'll take it very badly. 
Whatever that means. It means what I said. Now, obviously, Roger, you and Holly will never be able to get along together. But she's found something for herself. So please, just leave her alone and let her enjoy it. Is that it? Almost. I hope you accept this gentlemanly appeal. Because that station is my new business, with Holly as my new partner. Mess with it in any way, and I will take it badly. Understood? Oh, loud and clear. Though not as brief as you promised. The only problem is I don't react well to threats. This is not a threat, exactly. And I want to tell you this in person, because of our past history. In the past, you took my advice. Make damn sure you do the same thing this time. Good night. Interesting. Black Queen has herself a white knight. <laughs> Johnny can never have children. Are you sure? I ran the test three times myself. We didn't even take this test seriously. He only took it for research for the show. Rick, how could this be happening? Why? I don't know, Chelsea. I could, I could run the test again if you want. I'm not going to tell him. I mean, he's been so happy. We, we've been so happy. God, I know. So much. I know. We're not going to tell him. I've got to. It's my yeah, I know that you do eventually, but now is not the time. And let's be reasonable here. We're talking like this because we both love him, right? Right? So couldn't we just wait just a, a little while? Wait for what, Chelsea? The for the other is, test. The test results are in. For the other test. I mean, no test is infallible, right? Right, but percentage-wise, it's See, test there is you go. Reliable. See? Knowing Johnny, he would be that one exception in a million. Please. Please, Rick, just let us wait. Just one. Wait for what? Oh, uh, Chelsea, want me to uh, wait for you in uh, joint celebration? Well, come on then, let's party. Uh, sorry, pal, I gotta go. I just stopped by to tell you something. <laughs> well, make it quick. I'm thirsty. Uh, it's about the fertility test you took for the show. I forgot to give you one of the tests, so if you have time, why don't you come by and take it, okay? Okay. As soon as I get back from Chicago. Okay. Hey, let's cut that cake. Cut the cake. Okay. I'll be back. Somebody said somebody has been lying in my bed. Well, daughter, looks to me like you and this young rake had better be getting married real fast. Yep. I think you better get out the old shotgun because he's had his way with me. That's right, and I'm gonna do it again. Now, don't you two have some gambling you have to go do? Hmm? Well, you're just in time for some hot chocolate. It's out on the stove. Let's go get him, old man. Old man? I'm gonna show you, old man, when I get you home. Oh, <laughs> those two something. Well, now, hey, soldier, where are you going? What was all that about having your way with me? Was it just talk? Well, I fully intend to have my way with you. I'm just going to ply you with a little bit of hot chocolate first and oh. uh, see what the best is I can do. Okay. Go, all hot and toasty for your bulging belly. Oh, you better watch how you talk about my bulging <laughs> belly. There's somebody inside there listening. Uh, speaking of which, or whom, uh, have you thought about how Mara's going to react to having, having a baby around here? Yes, as a matter of fact, I have. And I think she's going to love the whole idea of baby and birth. And knowing how smart our daughter is, she'll probably have, have that child dressing himself and, and towing the mark within no time. Himself. You've already decided it's a boy. Is that what you want? Huh? Well, boy or girl, just doesn't matter as long as it's healthy. What about you, boy or girl? Well, truth be told, uh, 51 boy, 49 girl. Truth be told, mm -hmm. me too. <laughs> I'd love to have a big old bouncing boy around here. A big old bouncing boy around here? Is that the best description you can come up with, huh? Well, the best all-round guy I ever knew was, uh, you. 
<laughs> With any luck, he'll be just like you. Sweet, smart, able to handle everything. Strong, loving. Now you. Well, the best all-around boy that I ever knew was you, of course. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Oh, I'm serious here. Now, when I was growing up, you were my best buddy, and I think he's going to be a lot like you. He's going to be smart, but uh, not too overly fond of books. Mm -hmm. uh, blonde, I guess. Uh, <laughs> he's going to be... Uh, <laughs> he's going to be uh, quick to temper, but uh, also quick to cool down. He's going to be tough as a boot on the outside and uh, sweet and generous on the inside. And preferably taller than you. Yeah. That's him. Open the door, I'm gonna bring this to Gemma. Well, if it isn't a big shot. Hey, what are you doing? I know what you did, and I'm gonna rip your face off for you. Uh, it. Uh. Don't stop it! Stop it! Yeah, stop it! Stand it, could you? Had to tell the LeMays about me, didn't you? What? What is he talking about, Alan Michael? I'm talking about Daisy. I'm talking about your low-life husband here who told the LeMays about me. Who, which means they brought the cop, which means, Harley, that we ain't never gonna see Daisy again. You didn't do that. You wouldn't do that. No, he's crazy. I wouldn't do anything like that. Oh, the hell you didn't. It had to be you. It all fits. You even did it when you knew Harley wouldn't be there. Harley, why would I do something like that? I know how much you love Daisy. I tried to get her back to you. Why, why would I do something where you wouldn't be able to see her? It's true. That's true. It makes sense, Dylan. Maybe he wanted her for you, but not with me. Look, I believe him. And you have to, too. It wasn't Alan Michael. Well, it was somebody, Harley. Somebody did it to me and to you. And now Daisy's gone, you know? Who could do something like that? Maybe it was Billy Lewis. It's for the good. It's for the good of this whole situation. What? What? Look, everybody knew it was gonna have to end sooner or later. And now you won't be tempted to go over there. Yeah, maybe. Well, look, my wife is really upset and I wanna take care of her, okay? So I'm gonna have to ask you to leave. Yeah, I know how she feels. Listen, I don't know you very well. So if you're being straight with me, and I'm sorry I busted in here like that. But if you lied to me, I'll be back. I'm so tired of this. I didn't even get to say goodbye to Daisy. Come here. Look, I know it hurts. We're gonna have a baby of our own. I just, I just didn't know where else to go, all right? I just couldn't go home by myself. said, Roger, don't you believe me that no matter what you have done in this lifetime that you can tell me? I believe that you still want an answer to your money question, which I've answered, but you don't believe me, so you make up this truth game with the mask. All right. Okay. 
Truth mask is on. Can I trust you? Completely. Without reservation. Do you love me? Yes. Want to continue this discussion here or someplace else? Someplace else. I'll be right there. Hello? You thinking about me, huh? This has been Guiding Light. Blitzstein. Be sure to be with us tomorrow for another full hour of Guiding Light.